Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing what guys? We're doing the safari ride. Where at? Bush Gardens. Oh yeah? And what are we going to do on the safari ride? We're going to feed giraffes. Yeah? Alright, well let's go on the adventure. You guys ready? Yeah. Let's do it guys. <laughs> Wait over here, Zigobi. I'm going to be on the back of the truck with you guys, telling you about the animals, answering any questions you have. Also on the truck with us is Matt. He's going to be taking some nice photos of you today. And this is Alex. He's very important. He's going to be our driver today, which would be very nice to have. So before you enter the truck, I'm going to ask that you grab a pump of hand sanitizer because we're going to be handling animal food. Feel free to go ahead on the truck when you're in. Cool, huh? Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> look, look. Hey. All right. So before we get you excited? started, I want to yeah. go over some safety instructions with you guys. Number one, please make sure you keep your hands and arms inside the truck at all times. We want to make sure we leave with all the limbs we came with today, preferably. While the truck is moving, I do ask that you remain completely still and hold on somewhere. Either this metal grate down here, this wooden part, or this silver railing. Where we feel most comfortable as long as you're staying still and holding on while the truck is moving. We're going to come to some stops and I'll let you know when you can move around and get a better view of the animals. Hello. But until then, while we're moving, I just ask you to stay completely still and hold on tight. If you drop anything over the side, please just let me know. We'll have somebody retrieve that for you if you want to. If you don't want to, we'll still have somebody retrieve it. So keep this animal have nice and clean. Uh, if you're feeling sick or if you require first aid for any reason, please just let me know and I will happily take care of that for you. We can always return back to the dog. We have some supplies on board that might be able to help. So just let me know. Do you guys have any questions about this? everybody. Zebra. Go 
live without drinking any water. Very impressive. They've got specialized digestive systems. It allows them to separate the small amount of hydration from the dry shrubs that they can find in the desert. We also have those really big ones back there, the brown ones with the horns. Those are the common eland, the second largest species of antelope in the world. Only second to the greater eland, so it's pretty close in size. They have that dewlap that hangs from their neck. That helps to regulate their temperature. They can go in the shade and put all their blood in the dewlap to cool it down. Then when they're back in the sun, they can pass the blood back through their body to cool them down. They can do the opposite in the cold weather as well in the sun. These little tiny ones, the little brown ones here, are the impala antelope. The impala antelope, these are all female except for one. You see one with horns, that's the one male. Oh, there he is. He's keeping an eye from a distance. There he is. Since the Apollo are also sexually dimorphic, and the male and female look different. So that's a male over there, you can tell because he has the horns. If you guys have heard of the Chevy Impala, that was actually named after them. They're very fast, they have to be because their natural predator is a cheetah. Unfortunately, they cannot outrun a cheetah, but they can outlast a cheetah running at their top speed for 30 minutes straight, while a cheetah can only run at their top speed for 30 to 40 seconds of time. So, they can outsmart and outlast the cheetah, they're good. Hold on tight, guys. We're good. Hold on. A white rhino back there behind the bushes. We're gonna come Ooh. all the way around the corner and get another view of museum. Okay. That is Tombo, the that's rhino? male white rhino. Nice. Rhino. We're heading into rhino territory to see how many rhinos we can spot. Uh oh, how many rhinos can we see, Jay? You ready? Yeah. How many do you think we're gonna see? Uh, ten. Ten? Yeah. I wish all we right. had that many. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> you might have to just look away real quick and then look at it again. Yeah. <laughs> That is one. one. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Hold on tight guys. We're good. This thing is pretty bumpy.
Oh, hey, look. Oh, see the baby rhino over there? Oh, yes, that is our mom, Kateri, and her new son, Yazzie. Yazzie is potato. It's really so cute. He's a little over 200 pounds now, probably. Really close to us around here, we have some animals with the horns. Nice reddish brown uh, antelope here. These are the sable antelope. We have all female sable antelope here. So they're hard to get up to two to three feet in length. If we had any males, they wanted to get all the way up to six feet in length. Pretty impressive. We don't have any males here. That would be pretty scary. <laughs> Fun fact about them, when there's a male absent from the pack, um, one of the females will actually develop more testosterone. It's kind of take over as a little one in the group. We have our two ostriches of the North Belt, Lily and Dolly. We always hang out together, not asking to tell you which is which. <laughs> not tell them apart. Passing by our lovely stable animals. And we're getting a little bit close to Kateri and her son, Biazzi. Oh, the one that you saw earlier is Biazzi's dad. Biazzi is his 11th kid. Kateri is a little higher than over there. So white miners are grazers. They eat the grass off the ground. That's what they're doing right now. They're mowing the lawn here for us. Very nice of them. Aww. The flowers that are growing right now, so pretty. Look so at so 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 His corner hasn't quite broken through the yet. There's just a little mound where it's going to be. So adorable. Since his dad is a little bit smaller, he's probably going to end up being a little bit smaller as well. And he's probably going to keep his horn nice and short because he's a little bit He's like a big puppy. He's going to wiggle his ears from time to time. He gets tired. It's been a long day for him. Yeah, he's kind of like a big puppy. He is like a big puppy. <laughs> Baby is blocking our path, so we gotta turn around. Isn't that kind of funny? Yeah. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Good. Yeah, you having fun? Oh. Uh -huh. Hold my hat because I almost lost it. Oh. She gets very upset if any of the other rhinos, even the dad, comes over. I saw them one time running around, the two of them, and then Pombo tried to join in.
saw the white rhinos were social, they're also grazers eating the grass off the ground. Black rhinos are browsers, which they eat from the bushes and trees. She has a prehensile top lip that allows her to do so. If you can see, it's kind of funky. there with her she'd be very upset <laughs> she'd be very territorial and defensive hold on tight we're good you hear that the rhino would be very upset step up I'll ask you to step away. I'm gonna do my tree impression up here. She's gonna take it right out of my hand. I'll have you hold it up and away from the truck if you can. I'll pass this out to you guys. Here you go. <laughs> Use that prehensile tongue to grab it. There you go. She'll like that crunchy piece. First group going to that corner over there. Just scrunch together for our group photo. And I'm gonna hand this lettuce to you. You're gonna hold it up and over your head, over everyone's head like that. Like a seat. Up, up, up. Straight up to your head. Yep. Yeah, perfect. And look right here at the camera. Just a little bit more, she's struggling. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Perfect. I'll have you guys switch now. She's so sweet and gentle. She's so pretty. Is it just picky? Yeah. Hold it up. <laughs> <laughs> so Jay, right hold it up. Hold it up. <laughs> I just like I just like put it on its tongue. Yeah, I mean, Wait, she has hold a it, hold it tongue, which means she can control it. Like we can control our fingers. So she can just grab that lettuce from you. And if you notice, her tongue is kind of purple. That's because of some extra pigmentation. It's kind of like sunscreen. It protects her tongue because. Giraffes do have their tongues hanging out of their mouth like 65% of the day. So, want to make sure it's nice and protected. Sure. Okay. 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 Jade, look. Remember, hold it up. Hold it up. <laughs> she doesn't have any tough teeth in the front, so she can't bite you. You don't have to worry about that. Lettuce for you here. Oh, you want mine too? <laughs> All right. <laughs> they know what the green truck means. Like, ooh, food, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you want to do that one? Yes. All right, go ahead. <laughs> she is super gentle. Oh, you want this one too? All right. There you go. Nicky liquor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pull as high as you can for the TV over there. She'll thank you so she'll have to straighten her neck and head. Perfect. There you go. There you go. Just for you. Yep. 
<laughs> Can I give us an example on another way to feed them? I'll show you how. Put your hands in a bowl. Perfect. It's called the salad bowl method if you both hands. Just put it like that and hold it nice and high for her. Let's hold the bowl method or the No, you gotta hold it high. Get it, get it, get it, get it. She wants her salad. Get it, yeah, she wants her salad. Give her a salad. <laughs> Maybe you'll start eating your salad. Be great. I give him salad because he don't want it. It's his favorite right. animal, giraffes. So I'm like, you Jay, should Jay, like Jay, 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 here, quick. Do it, no, do it. <laughs> Alright, here you go. <laughs> Take down. Take down. Well, you need one of your hands for that. <laughs> Thank you. Ready? Here you go. Hold them up. There you go. Final goodbye pieces. You like this one, don't you? Yeah. I like this one. Yeah, but TV, she's funny. She's a really big tongue. Oh, yeah. Their tongue length usually corresponds to their height and how many feet they are will be generally around how many inches their tongue is, which is pretty cool. Like Bernie, our tallest giraffe, is 18 feet, so his tongue is probably around 18 inches. Oh, wow. Pretty cool. It doesn't always line up perfectly. Like Petiti has a super long tongue. Ready? <laughs> there you go. There you go. We've got some final goodbye pieces to pass around for Petiti and Sakari, yeah. which is on an hour right now. Okay, so how was it? Tell me. It was really good. Was it everything you thought it could be? Yeah, I love that one. Though. You love that one? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> that sounds so funny. Alright. When you guys are ready, I'll have you find an edge and hold on tight again. I'll give my goodbye pieces. Hold on tight, guys. You ready? We're good. Watch your heads, they might not watch theirs. Unfortunately, when the lettuce is gone, so is the moth. They're done. <laughs> How was that, guys? That was fun. Awesome. Was it fun? I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. That was Petiti and Sakari. Passing a few more giraffes, I can try and identify them. Laying down on the floor is Stanley, our youngest giraffe. He's only one year old. Wow. And in front of him here, is coffee. I'm looking at the tree right here is Rita. Kind of funny looking. He's missing some teeth and feels as a uh, some skin issues so she itches herself on the tree a lot. And that's why she's so happy. Super funny. <laughs> so how was it? You've been waiting two years. Was it worth it? You better hold on. If you look angels get a perfect left eye right there on her chest. His head. Look, look, scratch his head on the branch. Look, see it? Yeah. We're passing by our common eland again and our grebe zebra. They are the largest species of zebra in the world. They're also critically endangered, unfortunately, because of their stripes. And with our both feet on the ground. Perfect. Hold on tight, guys. We're good.
Yay. Yay. <laughs> How was it? So Fun? Yeah. Big old pup. Huh? Yeah. They be hungry. All right, guys, so how was it? It was good. It was good. It was good. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And thank you so much for watching, everyone. Yeah. Hug you lots. Hug you lots. Bye, guys. Hug you lots.